In this video, I'm going to show you how you can monitor GameStop stock prices and other stock prices using Power BI. I'm going to show you how you can connect to a REST API in the web in order to fetch these prices online. I'm also going to include the Power BI file that I use in this video in the description box below in case you're interested in doing it yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this demo that I prepared for you today. This is the website where we will fetch our stock prices. It's called the Financial Modeling Prep and they provide a free API key for us to use. You just need to sign up but it's free. and you'll be able to access the API endpoints in order to get the tickers for uh, these stocks. So once you've signed up, you will just need to go to the developers and the API docs page. And this will give you the API connections that you can connect to and use in Power BI. You'll see at the bottom here on your details, it will give us the API key. Now this will be unique to you and I'll explain to you the use of that later. For now, let's just copy it into our clipboard. So you'll see here on the left hand side, you will have a lot of options for you to uh, get details about the companies that you're looking for. Um, so things like the company profile, the quotes, but what we're interested in are the historical prices. So if we look down here and you will find the historical price here this will let us connect to the tickers and get their prices the same way that you would see on a kind of stock chart let's try one for example so let's copy for example let's say we want to get the historical daily prices all of it right uh, and what it's showing us is the API endpoint for it so what we'll do this is the example for it so we will copy this URL the very end let's copy this one and let's go to Power BI let's hit get data and on the web we'll paste this URL paste now we'll need to change a couple of things here. So first of all, we'll need to change the ticker. So at the moment it's Apple. We know that the ticker for GameStop is a GME. And the API key is the key that we had earlier at the beginning. So if we go back to our API docs, let's copy that one. Let's go back to here and let's replace it and hit OK. Let's just do a couple of transformations here. So let's convert this list into a table. Okay. And let's propagate the columns. So now this gives us the details for this ticker GameStop. Let's just rename it into something more useful. And let's try to clean this up a little bit. So we don't really need all of these. Uh, we probably would just be interested in the close. So let's delete everything else. So let's keep the, let's see, change percentage and the open and close. Remove other. Let's change this into a date. These into a decimal and this as a percentage. And now let's hit close and apply to load this data into our data set. So now let's try to visualize this. So let's use a line chart to visualize this at the moment. So let's do the date into our axis and then the close. So now that gives us the view of the GameStop close price since I guess the beginning of time, however, far back the API provides you and let's maybe even go further than that let's add a date filter for us and let's say we just want to see 
since yeah since July so now that gives you the close date prices for the for this specific stock GameStop and you'll see that it's, it's pretty easy now that you have that done if you wanted to see for example how other stocks look like all you need to do is you go to transform you can create a new query but in this case let's just use this one the same one and let's say we are interested in Apple so all we need to do is in the source we hit the cog icon let's change this ticker to Apple so we know that the Apple ticker is Apple AAPL if we hit OK you don't have to do you don't have to redo all of that that you've already done all you need to do is go to the change type at the end and that gives you the number for Apple it will give you the close prices for Apple you see this is what it's giving us here on the report at the moment, because the New York Stock Exchange is closed, you probably won't get any live data. So you'll only get data since the 29th of January, which was on a Friday. But when it opens, theoretically, because it's connected to the API, all you'll need to do to refresh this data is by hitting the refresh button here. If you hit refresh, it will refresh that API call. Now, if we go back to the site itself, there is a pricing involved to this, depending on how many calls, how many refreshes you want to do. So at the moment with the financial modeling prep, uh, we are on the free plan. So it lets us refresh our data up to 250 requests per day. So just be aware of that when you're creating this report and using it as a kind of live real-time report. You just need to make sure that you're not requesting more than 250 requests per day for this. Other than that, they provide such an extensive API documentation that I think it's it's worth even just the free version at the moment we looked at the full range of historical day prices but theoretically you can look at the different intervals so you can look for up to a minute which is amazing and that's it for this video I hope you now understand how you can use rest APIs to track stock prices in Power BI. If you found this video useful, please let me know by leaving a like. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much guys for watching. See you again on the next one.